guys, I'm super excited to share with you our liquid nitrogen ice cream recipe. This ice cream recipe is the creamiest and the quickest you'll ever come across. You will need a liquid nitrogen doer, ice cream ingredients such as cream and flavoring, as well as a metallic bowl with a wooden spoon. When it comes to this recipe, a very important thing is safety. You've got to be wearing your PPE or personal protective equipment, goggles, gloves, cryo gloves, as well as long sleeves, long pants, and closed shoes. You will also be needing a partner because you will need somebody to be pouring from the liquid nitrogen doer while you are stirring continuously the ice cream mixture. Now let's stoke chemistry. Nitrogen or dinitrogen to be more IUPAC is two nitrogen atoms brought together in a covalent bond forming a diatomic molecule. When these molecules are close to each other, it is in the liquid form. When they are random and far away from each other, it is in the gaseous form. Under normal conditions and at room temperature, dinitrogen is a gas. It actually makes up a big amount of the atmospheric air, about 78% by composition. However, under extremely low temperatures and high pressures, it can be rendered into the liquid form. The temperature of liquid nitrogen is extremely low. We are talking 196 degrees below zero. Mind you, the temperature of ice from water is just zero degrees Celsius. So we are here at 196 degrees below that of ice. So it's extremely cold. Pouring down the extremely cold liquid nitrogen into the bowl of ice cream ingredients or the cream mixture at room temperature will result in heat transfer from the relatively hot cream mixture to the extremely cold liquid nitrogen until we reach a thermal equilibrium state rendering the cream mixture frozen into a delicious creamy ice cream and the liquid nitrogen being boiled off in the form of gaseous nitrogen which we can clearly see as a vapor coming off as we pour the liquid nitrogen into the bowl of cream and while we are stirring. Due to the extremely low temperature of liquid nitrogen, direct contact with it could cause serious and damaging effects to the skin and human tissues. That's why I would like to stress again PPE before any attempts of using it. Before any further ado, let's get to the recipe video.